Hi. Now in this part of the question, we've got to express 14 cos squared x minus 48 sine x cos x in the form a cos 2x plus b sine 2x plus c, where a, b and c are constants to be found. So you might like to pause the video if you haven't given this a try and uh, come back when ready and I'll show you the work solution so you can check your version against mine. Okay, well, welcome back. Let's see how you got on. Well, I'd start with the expression. We've got 14 then cos squared x minus 48 sine x cos x. And instead of writing an equal sign, I'm going to write an identical sign. We're going to write an identical expression to this. And we're told that it's got to be this one here. It's got terms of the form cos 2x and sin 2x in it. So that gives us a clue. We should be familiar with what is often called the double angle formulae. You must probably know them as this, okay? If not, do try and make sure you learn these. Cosine of 2a, cos 2a for short, is identical to cos squared a minus sine squared a. And this version here is not really the one that we want. If we replace sine squared a with 1 minus cos squared a and substitute it in here, then we end up with 2 cos squared a minus 1. Again, an identity that you should be familiar with. And from this, we could rearrange this to make cos squared a the subject. If we add 1 to both sides and then divide by 2, you end up with cos squared a is identical to a half of cos 2a plus 1. Okay, so you should be familiar with that. I hope you are. Sine 2a is another one, okay, that comes up. Sine 2a is identical to 2 sine a cos a. And if I make sine a cos a the subject here, can you see that therefore sine a cos a is identical to a half of sine 2a. And it's these two identities that we use to develop this. Because we've got our 14 here, so we'll put the 14 in. But in place of cos squared x, x now being, uh, or the a being the x, okay? Can you see that cos squared x must now be identical to a half cos 2x plus 1. So I can write that in here as being, we'll put that in a square bracket, a half multiplied by cos of 2x plus 1. And then for this term here where I've got sine x cos x, sine x cos x, and I've got a's here, but sine x cos x must be identical to a half sine 2x. So if we put the 48 down there, we've got minus 48, and that is multiplied by a half then sine 2x. So all I need to do now is just expand the bracket. We've got 14 times a half, which is 7, times cos 2x, 7 cos 2x. And then we've got 14 times the half, which is 7, times the 1 here, so that's plus 7. And then when we come down to this term, 48 times a half is 24, times it with a sine 2x, and we've got minus 24 sine 2x. And then if we just switch this around, we can make it look like this. We can say that this is identical to 7 cos 2x. Then we've got the minus 24 sine 2x, and then the plus 7. And this is now identical to what we've got to show. Something of the form a cos 2x plus b sine 2x plus a constant c. And we had to state the values of a, b and c, constants to be found. 
So in that case, we could say where a equals the 7, b is going to be minus 24, and the constant c is going to be 7. All right, so I hope it's given you an idea on that part of the question.